example if you connect the we're talking about the y input eh? okay the x input is a time based eh? so we connect the y input if the y input is a direct current okay it's a direct currents and we switch off the time base eh? you switch off of the time base uh, initially the, the bright spot is at the center eh? so let's say we use the x offset to y offset eh? to uh, to move the spot to the center what is y input the y input is the source of the electricity that you plug to the oscilloscope that's what you want to measure the input is what you want to measure so you what you want to measure you plug it to this uh, oscilloscope eh? okay so that's uh, a y input so the y input is the direct currents initially it's at the center it's, it's at the center okay so if you plug this direct currents to this oscilloscope eh? so you will find that um, uh, this bright spot okay is either move up or move down okay it depends on uh, how the connection is so in this case it move up eh? it move up uh, that is what you see eh? okay when a uh, direct current is connected to a, a cathode ray oscilloscope if the direct current uh, is is connected to the oscilloscope and the time base switched on if the time base switch on then you will find that uh, the bright spot will move from left to right but if the time base at uh, the time is very small okay uh, then you will find that uh, it will uh, move from left to right and then you can see a straight line so that's the difference between uh, the time base switch off or the time base switch on time base because it moved the the cathode ray from left to right eh? okay so you can see either you can you see it moving or you can see a straight line like this can we switch off the y gain eh? okay so you can we switch off the y gain the y gain you cannot switch off the y gain okay because y gain is what you want to measure okay what you uh, you measure something okay if, if you switch off you, if you switch it off then you can't measure there's no point to switch it off eh? because we use the y gain to control what you want to measure how much you want to measure so if you switch it off then you can't measure so we do not switch off the y gain how about alternating currents eh? for alternating currents alternating currents um the voltage eh? the voltage move up and down the voltage go up and down up and down eh? okay and if the voltage go up and down then the the, the bright spot on the screen will also follow eh? okay the bright spot it will move up okay and then go down and move up and down up and down okay but this one it moves very fast eh? okay because the frequency of alternating current is 50 hertz 50 hertz means that it moves 50 times eh? 50 times up down up down 50 times in one second so therefore you can't see the movement okay you can only see that uh, it's a straight line okay because it moves too fast eh? you cannot see the movement you can see straight line on it so that is the difference between uh, uh, this direct currents and alternating current direct current you can see a spot on here eh? okay but alternating current because you move the bright spot up down up down up down eh? so you can see a straight line like this when you switch on the time base then you can see something like this you see something like this because uh, the alternating currents are uh, move up down but the the time base okay something wrong here okay so this one is time base switch off eh? okay this one switch off and this is time base switch on eh? okay so this one time base switch off and this one time base switch on and when the time base switched on so the alternating currents move up and down but the time base will move it uh, from left to right so you can see not only it move up down it can only it, it's also move uh, left from left to right okay so you move left to right and then come back left to right come back okay left to right so this is the displays of the alternating current when the time base uh, switched on eh? this is the displays of the alternating current when the time base switched off